Well, hello and welcome to today's math lesson. In math today, we are going to learn how to identify, act out, draw pictures, and write number sentences for some, some more, and some, some went away story problems. If at any point during this lesson, you feel that you need some more time to process the information, please pause the video and review it before you move on. So that way you can work at your own pace. Now today we're going to work with and gain an understanding of math story problems involving the processes of addition and subtraction. We're going to refer to these problems as some, some more, our addition problems, and some, some went away, our subtraction problems. So let's take a look at some examples of how these problems really work. First we'll work with some, some more problems. In our first problem, we can see that there are three pirates already on board the boat and then two more pirates met them there. There they are. So how many pirates are on the boat now? Well, I can count one, two, three, four, five pirates on the boat, but I need a number sentence to tell me what's happening. Our number sentence would say three pirates, because that's what we started with, our sum, plus two pirates, our some more, equals five pirates total. This is a sum some more story. There were some pirates on the boat, and then some more came along. Let's take a look at another example. This time, see if you can figure out what number sentence I would write to tell what happened in this story. I start with two pirates, two more come along. So our number sentence should say two pirates plus two pirates equals four pirates because there were two there and two more came along. So when you write your answer, make sure you label it. That's the other important part, because I have to know what we're talking about. These are pirates and they're not elephants, so make sure we explain in our problem that these are pirates. Let's try acting out another story. This time, we start out in a kitchen, and we have one cook in the kitchen. Two more cooks then come to the kitchen to join him. So some, some more. Here's our some, some more. How many cooks are in the kitchen now? Well, I can see it's three. Our number sentence would have to say one cook plus two cooks equals three cooks total because there was one there to start and then two more came along. So we have three cooks total. So what happened in this story? Well, one was there, two more came. Some, some more problem. Let's take a look at another example. This time again, see if you can tell me what number sentence I need to write in this story problem. I start out with two cooks, three more come along, so your number sentence has to say two cooks plus three cooks equals five cooks because there were two there and then three more came along. So more means add. So when we write our answer again, make sure that you label it so we know what we're talking about. Well, those were our sum some more problems, so hopefully did we, we did okay with those. Now I want to work with a different kind of story problem called some, some went away stories. What do you think is going to happen with these? Well, in some, some more we had some come along and then more came along. In some, some went away it's the opposite. There are some there and then some go away. And the opposite of addition is subtraction. So let's take a look at some examples and see how these work. So I start out this time with five kings that went to the movies. Three kings were hungry, so they left the theater to go buy some popcorn. There's the three that go away. So how many kings are watching the movie now? Well, I can see there's one, two left. Our number sentence would have to say five kings minus three kings equals two kings left at the theater. What happened in this story? Some were there, and some went away. Another example. This time, as we did before, see if you can figure out the number sentence. There are four to start, three go away. Your number sentence has to say four kings minus three kings equals one king, because there are four there, three went away, one is left. Again, make sure your answer is labeled so I know what the problem is talking about. Let's try another one. This time we're dealing with books on my desk. There are five books on my desk. One book went to the library because it was overdue. There it goes. How many books are left on my desk now? 
Well, if I can count, I see one, two, three, four books. A number sentence would say five books minus one book equals four books left. Is it a sum some more or some went away story problem? Well, it has to be some some went away because there were some there and this one that was here went away. One more example here. See if you can figure out the number sentence for this story problem. I start out with five books. Two go away. So your number sentence is five books minus two books equals three books left. So what question did I ask about the story? I want to know what happened. And what happened in the story was I had some and some went away. And make sure that your answer is labeled. So now that we have reviewed and explained both kinds of story problems, let's do a little bit of practice. On the next few slides, you're going to see some math problems. And you'll also be prompted with three answer choices to choose for each problem. See if you can identify the correct number sentence for each story problem. After you've seen the question, the answer choices, and the illustration, please pause the video to make your answer choice. Then you may resume your video to see if you have the correct answer. Let's see how we do. So every problem will ask you which number sentence is correct for the story problem to the left. A, five paper clips minus two paper clips equals three paper clips. B, seven paper clips minus two paper clips equals five paper clips. Or C, five paper clips plus two paper clips equals seven paper clips. Let's watch your illustration. Part one. Part two. Pause the video. The correct answer choice is letter C. There were five there to start, two more came along, now we have seven paper clips. Let's look at your next question. Which number sentence is correct? A, four pencils plus three pencils equals seven pencils. B, four pencils minus three pencils equals one pencil. Or C, one pencil plus three pencils equals four pencils. Watch both parts, part one, part two. Go ahead and pause your video, make your answer choice, and then resume. And the correct answer is part B. Four pencils minus three pencils equals one pencil. Which number sentence this time? A, six kids minus two kids equals four kids. B, six kids plus two kids equals eight kids. Or C, six kids minus four kids equals two kids. Watch the both parts. There's part one, part two. And pause your video and make your answer choice. The correct answer is letter A, six kids minus two kids equals four kids. Let's take a look at another example here. Is it going to be A, three artists minus two artists equals one artist? B, three artists plus two artists equals five artists? Or C, five artists minus two artists equals three artists? Part one, part two. Now pause the video and make your answer choice. The correct answer is letter B, three artists plus two artists equals five artists. And one more problem for review. Is the answer going to be A, nine robbers minus five robbers equals four robbers? B, five robbers plus four robbers equals nine robbers? Or C, nine robbers minus four robbers equals five robbers? Here comes part one. Part two, pause your video, make your answer choice. The correct answer is answer C, nine robbers minus four robbers equals five robbers. Well, that's all the practice that we have for now. I would like at this time to encourage you to try some examples on your own by creating some of your own problems and sharing them with a partner. Thanks for watching.